Now, back to part one. This part of the transformation describes how to create plasmid DNA. Remove the E. coli test tube that has been in the water bath shaker for 24 hours. Centrifuge the cells for five minutes. Make sure that the centrifuge is balanced with another group's tube. Resuspend the pelleted bacterial cells in 0.25 milliliters of buffer P1 using a sterile micropipette tip. Most of these buffers contain irritants, so proper safety equipment such as gloves and goggles should be worn. Remember, practicing sterile technique at this point in the lab is very important. Transfer the contents to a microfuge tube and mix thoroughly by flushing the solution up and down the micropipette tip. Try to avoid breathing directly into the open containers, as this could result in contamination. The next step is to add 0.25 milliliters of buffer P2 to the microfuge tube. Once done, gently invert the tube to mix the contents. Mixing is complete when the liquid turns a homogeneous light blue color. Remember, vortexing can damage the bacterial DNA and should not be done. In a similar manner, aseptically add 0.35 milliliters of buffer N3 and gently invert until the solution becomes colorless again.